Well, I have no class today. Um, at least I believe I don't. Today is Sunday, right? Good morning, shunshiners and possibly shunshaders. So here's the definition of a digital sponge that I came up with. Um, digital sponge, pronounced digital sponge, technically. I looked up the pronunciation of digital and sponge to make that pronunciation, obviously. Okay, it's a noun. Um, a person who is able to absorb the necessary information to know how to use any new technological device, software, or OS, which is operating system, uh, within a short amount of time. I probably should say new or old, I guess, maybe. Hmm. I don't exactly say that in the video that I can also learn old devices, but I think the point is that it's new stuff, so I think I'll leave it as is. So I just want to quickly show you how cheesy my effects are in this thing. Yep. <laughs> Jump cut and a very uh, cheesy suction sound that I made by myself. Here's another one. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because of how like low budget it is because it's the only idea I had. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna export this now and upload it. And yes, that is the best I can do with my current um, knowledge of the programs that I have. A cheesy jump cut absorption. You should see what I did later on in the video to fit with the sponge theme as well. Uh, also a uh, cheesy practical effect. Um, hopefully by the time I graduate from Full Sail my videos will be a lot better. I'll know um, Adobe Premiere, After Effects, Photoshop, um, Final Cut Pro X and all that kind of stuff so my videos should improve if they don't something's wrong so I changed the word um, absorb to learn because it made more sense in everyday circumstances um, in the video I do say absorb as if I'm trying and failing to make a joke because the uh, word is digital sponge um, so I decided, okay, I'm going to make the, uh, more normal definition, and so I made it say learn the necessary information instead of absorb the necessary information. Well, no turning back now. I uploaded the digital literacy assignment, um, to YouTube, and then embedded the link in the discussion board that I needed to embed it into to, uh, turn it in to my teacher. Although I did a better job explaining what a digital sponge is in the paragraph of information I had to provide than I actually did in the video. So yeah, anyways, um, I have one more piece of my psychology of play assignment to do and that piece is the video I was going to make. I decided to just do what it asks for and uh, take a picture of me engaging in play because I can choose either a picture of me when I'm young or a picture of me now and since all the pictures of me really young are at home in a non-digital format uh, I'm going to take a picture of me engaging in play now. Unfortunately, um, my PS3 still in the mail. So I can't use that. And uh, watching TV, watching YouTube videos, watching Netflix doesn't completely cover all the uh, qualities to um, actually classify something as play, apparently. Uh, so I'm going to actually play Minecraft for a bit, which I haven't played in a while. And just take a picture of me playing Minecraft, which would qualify as most of the things to count as play, I hope. 
and then upload the picture embedded into a uh, Word document thing, not embedded, inserted into a Word document uh, to the online uploader and get that in before midnight. And at some point I'm going to head back to Publix because I guess I just subconsciously don't want vegetables. I realized I forgot vegetables. And since I normally make about two visits to the supermarket a week, the second visit, picking up anything I forgot during the first visit, uh, I'm going to go there and get some frozen vegetables. So I can make dinner and uh, such. Maybe I'll see what movies are playing to actually get out of my apartment more than just going to the supermarket. Um, but I don't know where the movie theaters are, so that's not very helpful. Okay, so I'm just saying this because I kind of had a conversation with my parents about it. So, digital literacy has no tests, no quizzes. Every grade is based on assignments, homework, and all this kind of stuff. Um, with the exception of what well, the technical quizzes are turning in those Linda certificates, um, one or two per week. But basically, because there's no quizzes or anything, everything is worth a little bit more um, and such. But in psychology of play, which even the teacher said should be an easy A, uh, there are four quizzes throughout the month. One due every single week. The first one was due yesterday, and I did it. The thing about these quizzes, they're open book, open internet, open everything. Easy A. Anyways, I did the first one thinking I knew the stuff and only really opened the online textbook that we have um, for like the last uh, couple pages of questions and I didn't get a good grade on it. I'm waiting for the feedback, which is always helpful even if you got a good grade to look at the feedback, but I have to wait until the teacher gets online and does the feedback because even though it was due yesterday and now everyone should have taken it um, she might not be able to give feedback to everybody um, until like tomorrow so uh, yeah for the other three quizzes I'm going to make sure I know the stuff and have the online textbook open and refer to it whenever I have a um, answer that needs to be given that I can find there because it's open book. Why not use the book? So after I made that clip, um, I found, I think, a, a, a roach. Though be it, it was already dead, which is a good thing. Um, maybe I shouldn't leave my garbage just like sitting in the middle of my living room being too lazy to take it out to the dumpster for so long. Um, I just moved the uh, bag outside in case there was anything else I wanted to crawl in or out of it. And uh, when I head out to the supermarket, um, I am going to bring it to the dumpster. And uh, I quickly look through my cabinets. It does not appear that there are any other roaches, so maybe it like came in crushed on my bike tire or something and was already dead, but yeah, that was, that was not fun. First I thought it was like a grape or something or some sort of piece of food, uh, and then when I picked it up with the napkin and it wasn't moving, it was already dead, but I already had crushed it, uh, yeah, it looked vaguely bug-like, specifically roach. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for any more uh, bugs. As far as open food in uh, my kitchen though that I have is only Nutella. Everything else is either um, canned, not opened yet, or um, in the refrigerator or freezer. So uh, I think I'm okay. Still should keep my eyes peeled and definitely need to take the garbage out more often. I mean, as I said, um, it was already dead. So, uh, or at least it was when I stomped on it and then picked it up and squoze it to death. So I should make sure I take out the trash more often. 
Um, and if I see a persistent amount of bugs, contact the uh, main office of the apartment complex that I'm staying in and they will have the exterminators come in and gas my apartment uh, to kill any bugs and such. So, yeah. I really hope there's no more because it might be the month of October and I'm not that afraid of spiders during this month for some odd reason. But when it comes to bugs, there's no month that I'm not afraid of them. So I already sort of needed to establish a day where I clean. Um, not just because of this one potentially alive, potentially dead roach-like bug. So Sundays, from now on, cleaning day. At least taking out the garbage, no matter how full they are. Oh, those branches. Awkward cut. Well, um, I've actually been back for several hours from the supermarket, but uh, since I finished my homework, I was watching Breaking Bad. Um, which I should have finished my homework before even starting Breaking Bad, but that's an argument for another day. Um, I'm gonna head to bed because uh, my day off is over and I have school tomorrow. Good night, whoever's watching this. See you tomorrow. Well, I won't see you, but you will see me. Awkward cut to outro. Also, didn't catch up in the vlogs. I'll do that tomorrow. And you can head over to the Shunshine Show and check out the project I made. There's a vlog on the web featuring Ben Stock that he shoots every day as he walks and talks. If you're Bigfoot in the woods or producers in LA, you should stop all your shit and watch Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Has nothing to do with Florida, but it's great. If you can't wait, don't get irate. Just stay in your sheet, cause it's Sunshine.